All right, fellas, got a treat for you today. The three newest fragrances from Umwise. We're going to talk about those today. So, you want to hear my thoughts on it? Let's get into it. What's going on YouTube? I'm the Bowtie Fragrance Guy. We talk about fragrances, obviously, on this channel, but I also like to throw in a little bit of style and grooming content as well. So if you're into smelling good and looking great, make sure you hit subscribe. Don't forget to enable notifications by hitting that bell icon as well, so that way anytime a new video is uploaded, you'll get notified. All right, guys, you heard me in the intro. We're talking about the three newest fragrances from the brand of Amwise, the Essence uh, Collection. There are three new fragrances that uh, Amwise is just releasing um, to uh, the market, and we're going to talk about all three of them. Uh, these fragrances, well, there's a fragrance and then two travel size itemizers that was sent to me by Amwise. So I want to give you guys kind of my initial thoughts uh, and my initial impressions on all three of these fragrances. So if you want to hear my thoughts, you know the routine, man. Keep it locked right here. Let's make it happen. Let's go. The Bowtie Fragrance Guy. All right, guys, we're back. Thank you so much for keeping it locked in. We're going to jump into this video again. Three new fragrances from the Essence uh, Collection from Amwise. This is the first time in a long time that Amwise has a totally new bottle presentation on these fragrances, and we're going to see that uh, in a moment. From what I understand, these fragrances all have 30% uh, concentration of perfume oils in them. So. Uh, they're going to last uh, for quite a bit of time, I anticipate. Um, again, three brand new fragrances, guys. A six-month aging process or a maceration uh, process where these fragrances have had time for what I'm underst understood to be infused with sandalwood and oak barrels. And you can definitely pick up sandalwood and that kind of... I would describe oak barrels when you smell it in a fragrance if you... I'm pretty sure most of you smell angel share which is another fragrance that has that uh, note in it, the oak barrel note where it smells like uh, something is aged in oak barrel cast for a certain period of time. You definitely pick up that strong presence of oak barrels in the infusion of sandalwood and all three of these fragrances. Sandalwood is a note that I love. Uh, so we're starting out, starting out at the gate, you know, um, for me, uh, really raising my anticipation because that's one of my favorite notes just outside of my top six if i had the next one it would be sound of wood so uh we're going to get into talking about it. i have one full bottle and again two um travel spray itemizers uh, i want to kind of spray and just kind of walk you guys through what's in them and kind of sort of give you my initial impression so let's start with the full bottle this one is called outlands and this one was done by none other than cecile zeropian uh, so here is the presentation it's 100 ml, uh, 3.4 fluid ounces. And again, this one is called Outlands. So we're gonna slide this off. The actual box looks like this. All right, and then on the back it says Oman. Um, and on the side, it's the same thing on both sides. It says the Gift of Kings. All right, so that's what you have here when you open the box. Fragrance rests inside the box like this. So this is the new presentation that you're going to get on these fragrances. And there's actually a card here that kind of talks about the process um, of kind of the creative process uh, for these fragrances uh, and the whole nine uh, from the creative director, Renault Salmon. And... Uh, Again, let me take this out of the box, guys, and let you get a closer look at the presentation of Amwise Outlands. Again, done by Cecile Zerokian. Uh, these bottles are refillable, by the way. 100 ml, $450. Some of the other notes in here are lemon, uh, elemy, incense, patchouli, amber rose, and amber rose, <laughs> uh, and opopanax. So I'm going to spray it here so we can see what the sprayers are like on these things. Okay. 
again, out of the gate, man, I get the sandalwood. Now, I sprayed these briefly last night, and again, all three of them, you can tell that that process that they talked about, the infusion of sandalwood and oak barrels, uh, you get that in all three of these fragrances. Now, this one opens up with that uh, combination of that lemon and Elemy, Elemy resin. Uh, they had a fragrance last year, I think it was Search, if I'm not mistaken, that used this same Elemy resin note, which in this particular case, the Elemy gives a kind of citrusy, lemon-like um, smell to the fragrance. So what it does, it kind of helps to keep that citrusy kind of presence of the lemon, which is oftentimes a more volatile fragrance note that doesn't really last that often. The Elemy resin used here with the citrusy lemon kind of facet helps to kind of keep the smell of you know, lemon around for a longer period of time in the fragrance. So that's something that's very unique. Of course, this is a little bit smoky. Hmm. A little bit of smokiness coming here. Again, and that could be kind of the, that aged oak barrel thing it can almost give off a smoky nuance uh, in the fragrance as well. This is good, man. Wow. Cecile Zeroki, not surprised. Again, there is frankincense in here as well, so you pick that up. The patchouli here is more of the earthy variety, but I do pick up, I'm starting to pick up some patchouli here as well. Mmm. Yeah. Yeah, a little bit of rose is starting to peek his head into the uh, to the uh, fragrance as well. This is so well done. Again, I'm not surprised. Cecile Zeroki, man, master perfumer, uh, one of my favorite uh, perfumers out there. Uh, she did uh, She did the tobacco fragrance that blew everybody's mind uh, a few years ago. I don't know why the name is uh, skipping my mind right now. But this is right up. When I smell this, it, it smell, I smell. This is a Cecile Zeroki creation. Very well done. Again, all I'm wide fragrances. I'm a huge fan of the brand. Um, before I ever had an Amwaz fragrance sent to me, I probably had about 25 fragrances uh, in my collection. I just love the brand because of the uh, things that I look for. Creativity, quality, ingredients, all right? And they really, really stand behind that. And this, this fragrance is no different. This is fantastic. Oh, this is fantastic. Oh. The long, it's starting to dry down a little bit more now and kind of, I smell like the rose and some of the um, more earthier components like the Poplinax is really starting to take over. And the incense is becoming a little bit more prominent in the fragrance. This is fantastic. This is fantastic. I'm gonna spend some time with this so I can really, I wanna come back and give you guys a full review of this particular scent because I have a full bottle. And I wanna talk about you know the performance and the whole nine but first impressions this is this is phenomenal this is good this is good guys again it retails for 450 i'm pretty sure you can get a sample if you would like to check out maybe just a sample of it something like that to uh see if it's something that you would like but a person like myself that loves sandalwood i love that aged oak barrel kind of accord that uh a lot of fragrances are starting to kind of use that nowadays i love it Oh, I love this. This is so good. All right, so we have, that one is called Outlands. Now, again, I have a travel spray set of the other two fragrances. And again, those are called Luster and Reasons. Uh, Reasons was done by Bertrand Duchefort. And uh, Luster was done by Julian Rasconet and Paul Guerlain. All right, so when I open up this box, Again, beautiful presentation. I love these atomizers. They're just very sleek, uh, you know, kind of sophisticated, you know. So love the presentation on these. So I'm going to take them out. I think the name of the fragrance is on the bottom. So this first one is Luster. I don't know if the camera will pick this up, but this one is Luster. You have the name there on the bottom of the fragrance. I think this atomizer is really cool, man. Again, it has a, like a leathery feel to it. Very nice presentation. Uh, some of the notes in Luster are cardamom, orris root, sandalwood, and vanilla. Ugh. This might be my favorite. This might be my favorite. This is so good. 
you know, I kind of put this on the skin a little bit last night as well, just to kind of get a feel for them. I get the most sandalwood in this one. I get the most sandalwood, and because I love sandalwood so much, There's some creamy nuances to this one that I'm really enjoying. You guys know that I love fragrances that kind of have that creamy, almost lactonic uh, scent profile, and that is giving me this. The orris root in here is buttery and creamy, and it transitions right into a soft, creamy, smooth, buttery sandalwood note. This is good. This is this is definitely uh, up my alley. Uh, this one, guys, this is fantastic. Mmm, some vanilla here as well, and you know you start to get, uh, of course, more woody as the fragrance dries down. Again, you get the oak barrel thing. You can tell it's infused with oak barrels, but very very prominent note of cedar wood in here as well. Kind of balances the creaminess here because it's really really creamy. Again, buttery kind of. Uh, mid here in this fragrance with the dryness of cedar wood. Great balance. This stuff is fantastic. So Julian Rasconet, he's been doing his thing lately, man. He's all over the place uh, doing fragrances for a lot of different brands now, so shout out to him. He actually worked on one of my fragrances when I was just by phone, so wow, this is good, guys. And Paul Guerlain. So that is luster. If you like a creamy sandal wood, uh, that is the one for you. And this last one is called Reasons. And same thing here on the itemizer. Just beautiful, gorgeous. Here's some of the notes in this one. It's hazelnut, cinnamon, pine, patchouli, Devonda, Devana, sandalwood, and oak moss. So this one, you have that honey, I'm sorry, that hazelnut in the opening. So you get hazelnut in the opening of this fragrance. This is the most unique, I would say, uh, creation the way they use the sound of wood with this particular fragrance because this has some very very I would call spicier uh, green kind of undertones to this fragrance you get a lot of that pine and a lot of that oak moss which again a more uh, green almost I would say coniferous uh, kind of notes uh, in this fragrance so this fragrance kind of gives you that contrast and that duality uh, which is to me kind of epitomizes what Amwad fragrances are about. Just extremely uh, kind of creative, uh, if you will, because you got, of course, the smoothness and the creaminess of sandalwood. You got the woodiness of the oak barrels. Uh, but again, this fragrance has a lot of green coming from the oak moss. Uh, and of course, the Devana as well, uh, contributing to that. Yeah, man, super, super, super good. Not surprised, man. We're talking about Bertrand, Bertrand Ducher for here. So if you, this is the, I would say this is the most masculine uh, of the three uh, fragrances that I've smelled. So you guys that love oak moss, uh, that love fragrances that have that green coniferous kind of uh, presence to them, is going to love this stuff right here. Yeah, man. This fragrance also has Palo Santo in here as well. So... Um, what I'm loving about all three of the fragrances is how they use other uh, woods or woody notes in combination with the oak barrels. And here it was the Palo Santo that gives this really nice, you know, kind of calming, uh, if you will, soothing uh, kind of presence to this fragrance, kind of rounding out that oak moss uh, and the Devana in this fragrance. Hey, man, listen, I need to get myself a full bottle of those other two. I want to spend some time with those and give you guys really like a full in-depth review on these. But overall, my first impressions, I'm very, very impressed with all three of these fragrances. Right now, it's a, it would be a close race for me between Outlands and Luster for which one would be my favorite. But I want to wear them on skin and see what they do uh, before I make that kind of decision. But for, for right now, my overall first impressions, what, what else would I expect from Amwise? They knocked it out of the park. Now, as always, I sincerely appreciate you guys' time and attention to these videos. I know you don't have to watch what you do, and I sincerely appreciate that.
Now, don't forget to take a few moments to like, comment, and subscribe. Please make sure you're sharing these videos out to some other folks that you think could use the information. Find it entertaining. Because I'm your guy, Darren, on the Bowtie Fragrance Guy. I love to look good, and of course, I love to smell fantastic. So until next time, keep looking good. Keep smelling even better. I'll catch you on the flip side. Peace.